Hi, I'm Abby Luciano, and I'm the editor-in-chief of The Runner. I'm Claudia Kelly, and I'm the managing editor for The Runner. Hi, I'm Niamat Singh, and I'm the associate editor for The Runner. My name is Sunit Gill, and I'm the community reporter for The Runner. My name is Michaela, and my role is the production manager. I'm Austin Kelly, and I'm the photo editor for The Runner. My name is Rachel, and I'm the web manager for The Runner. I think I would describe The Runner in three words as chaotic, energetic, and confident. Exciting. There was lots of friendship, and it was chaotic. It was a work of art, it was exciting, and it was chaotic. Jammed, packed, awesomeness. <laughs> friendship, uh, collaboration, and growth. Diverse, persistent, and creative. Whole bunch of articles. We covered a lot of cost of living and like inflation and then also food insecurity and how that's impacting students. Um, we also did quite a few articles about health um, along with celebrating diversity and inclusivity. We did a lot of stories around cultural events in and around KPU. Just in general, mainly the articles though, it was really about kind of standing up for what's right. I think like with every volume, the theme is always like student focus like whether that is like events going on or like contributing in art like it's always like the students always to focus uh, I think it's hard to pick one memorable story but I have three in mind for volume 15 one of them was a feature about the importance of pride in Surrey and I think that one was really important just because I, I feel like Surrey gets overlooked a lot um, with stuff going on in the lower mainland there was like a social justice music festival called Wake Up that was earlier this year at KPU. And then uh, I did an editorial about Let's Look Beyond International Women's Day. I have two stories that I wrote that are quite memorable to me. The first one is a feature story I did about birth control, um, basically just going over the side effects and stigmas associated with birth control. I learned a lot from this story and I really enjoyed the interviewing process as well. And yeah, I'm just glad I was able to write about a topic that I hope people can learn from and just spread some awareness around as well. And the other story that I did that was meaningful to me was an editorial I did about Lyme Disease Awareness Month. My mom has Lyme disease, so um, yeah, I was just really glad that I could spread some awareness and educate people on what Lyme disease is. I think my favorite story for this volume would be the one I did on turbulence and its link to climate change. I think it was pretty interesting, and I got to talk to so many wonderful people. In the summer, I did a feature um, on the unsung heroes of KPU, so I got to speak some, to some really cool instructors about some work that they do on campus, but also out in the community that's really meaningful to them. Well, I like the municipal election. I, I like to complain about Doug McCallum in the opinion section, so I'm going to go with that. I think the feature uh, piece for the Wilson's Glove Design grad show, I was able to like work on that show itself, so able being able to read the article kind of gave me a different perspective on the show, and I was able to kind of learn about other graduates' projects and work, so I thought that was really interesting. I think the most challenging part for volume 15 was just the, a lot of internal changes that happened. We had a lot of staff changes throughout the volume, so a lot of our previous staff members moved on to bigger and better things, and so we had to fill some roles, but it was really good. Um, I'm happy with our new team. I think the most challenging part um, for the volume and just for the team in general was the Online News Act being passed. To help with the Online News Act, we had to add new systems to our website as well. So we added a newsletter and we added a QR code to our issue to help the readers access our content. I wish for volume 15 we were able to do more video. Um, I think it's important that, at least for journalism students, that we're able to do different types of journalism, whether it be writing, video, audio, photo, etc. It's always good when we attend events, and we try to do that as much as possible. Um, so hopefully we can do more of that. More municipal election coverage would have been cool. I think just seeing different, like, uh, variety in art. Um, but I think we're like slowly, but like, you know, surely getting there and I'm ex 
excited to see what the new volume has in store for us.